Hey there, it's Dr. Jim. Thanks for stopping by for an interesting topic, CBD and cerebral palsy. Around 200,000 children are born with cerebral palsy every year in the United States, and most of them will live into their 70s. While there is no cure for the condition, physical therapy, Botox injections, various medications, and surgery can help to manage symptoms and improve their quality of living. According to some recent research, CBD is now being considered a viable treatment for people who have cerebral palsy. And this condition is not just one disorder. It's a group of neurological disorders that affect movement in various parts of the body. It disrupts physical development early in life and causes problems with body posture, muscle tone, gait, or manner of walking, and coordination. The word cerebral itself refers to the cerebrum in the brain, which regulates motor movement. Palsy, on the other hand, refers to the paralysis of voluntary movement in different parts of the body. And there are five types of cerebral palsy. A toxic Athoid, dyskinetic, hypotonic, spastic, and mixed cerebral palsy. While each one comes with a different set of symptoms, there is a common thread that runs through all five types, and it is damage to certain areas of the brain, including the cerebellum, basal ganglia, motor cortex, and other parts of the brain. The damage in the brain then causes issues with motor control, movement, fluctuating muscle tone, poor mobility, and tight muscles. So what are some causes? While it can be very difficult to pinpoint exactly what single thing caused cerebral palsy, there are lots of Lots of reasons or lots of conditions that can lead to it. For instance, a lack of oxygen to the brain before, during, and after birth, bleeding in the brain, bacterial or viral infections, prenatal exposure to drugs or alcohol, prenatal exposure to raw or uncooked meat or fish, head injuries during birth or uh, within the first few years of infancy, medical negligence, or failure to treat medical conditions, okay? There are a lot of physical and neurological symptoms associated with cerebral palsy. They are muscle stiffness, spasticity, shortening of muscles, exaggerated or jerky movements, poor muscle tone, involuntary movements, lack of coordination, and problems with swallowing. Besides the movement problems, there are also visual or hearing impairments, speech problems, delayed motor skills development, learning problems, behavioral issues, and hydrocephalus, okay? The big question here is, what can CBD do to help manage symptoms of cerebral palsy? Well, I did a lot of research and I have found some things to talk to you about, okay? So think of CBD as a key and it is opening and unlocking the endocannabinoids potential to heal the body, to bring balance and homeostasis to the, ba to the body, which regulates a lot of it, uh, things, our brain, our breathing, our appetite, so on and so forth. Since the enactment of the Farm Bill of 2018, more researchers have examined the effects of CBD for various conditions and symptoms associated with cerebral palsy, and the results have been positive. The areas of interest include cannabinoid receptors CB1 and CB2, which are found throughout the body and the brain. Very high concentrations of these have been found in the basal ganglia and the cerebellum, which are responsible for motor function. 
The cerebral or the central nervous system is another area found to contain very high levels of CBD1, which can help manage muscle spasms and tremors. Reducing these symptoms can relieve pain and discomfort. CBD has been found to have many general health benefits, including anti-inflammatory effects, muscle relaxant qualities, and neuroprotection, all of which can help people with cerebral palsy live better lives with this condition. CBD has positive effects for many of the mental and behavioral conditions associated with cerebral palsy, including anxiety, depression, behavioral disturbances, and sleep issues. So there you have it. Cerebral palsy is a condition that does start in childhood, but a lot of these individuals are going to grow into their 50s, 60s, 70s, and and some beyond that. So they're going to grow into older age, and they're also going to be aging with a lot of other conditions. So it does look like CBD can be helpful. The only thing that's going to tell is more research and time. I'm Dr. Jim. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching the video, and I'd like to show you my new book, Living Longer and Stronger with CBD. It took me about a year and a half to write as I scanned hundreds of articles in prestigious journals, peer-reviewed medical studies, examining the effects of CBD for various physical conditions, emotional and mental issues, and neurodegenerative conditions. And I condensed all of those findings into one book. I believe that there's something in here for everyone. So if you're interested, follow the link to the book on Amazon. Thank you so much.